Hi, today we're going to turn a Dollar Tree wooden star into a Christmas ornament. And we're gonna do that by, first of all, decoupaging. So I have a, a napkin here that a friend gave me. Um, and you're going to want to peel off the back ply from the picture. Sometimes they're two ply, sometimes they're three ply. And you wanna to try to do it without ripping it, which I just, messed up there so we're going to come over here thank goodness the napkin is a little bit bigger than my surface so if i mess up on one corner it's not going to be a big deal wow i'm messing up in the middle here sometimes they stick sometimes they come apart real easily well we're going to salvage as much of this as we can Usually the ply that you're peeling off is white, but this one has just a very faint design, so I could maybe use that for another one. Usually I just save these and use them like I would a paper towel. Okay, so yeah, I've got plenty that didn't get messed up, so. I'm gonna try to smooth out that crease a little bit. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. It's the magic ingredient for making decoupage that is not wrinkly. Now I'm gonna try something here that I've seen done with just small pieces. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I will just go back to the other way. So I'm gonna try just painting over this. And it is definitely, I think, making it stick. But you know what? It's just as wrinkly as the other way. So I'm gonna go back to the other way since it's such a big surface. And I'm just gonna put a layer of decoupage all over this. If I were doing, which I might still over the top of this layer, I might decoupage something else on. Ooh, I'm not quite sure I haven't gotten that far. We're gonna have to let this dry before I do that. So I wanted to get this part done before I figured out what I was doing with the rest of it. Now, if you're doing a big piece, it's always a good idea Where's my lid? <laughs> it's always a good idea not to lose your Mod Podge lid. There we go. Okay, it's a good idea to do just part of it with Mod Podge first and just get it laid down. So I'm just gonna smooth that on. I'm gonna take this garbage bag. You can use Saran Wrap. And instead of using my hand to get any wrinkles out, I'm going to use it. Our fingers can stick to the napkin and can cause some problems. So where I did that decoupage on top, it's not gonna sit real well. We'll see. Um, anyway, you don't want your finger to stick because the napkins, they're pretty fragile at this point and they can tear very easily. But if you use the grocery bag or saran wrap, it does not stick to the napkin. And so you can gently smooth out wrinkles without tearing the napkin. Yeah, I'm gonna make that work as best as I can, but it definitely, definitely didn't work to do it over the top on this. You'll see if I do a little picture on here. If you've got a smaller thing, it works really well. Whoops, don't use your finger. Works really well to just Mod Podge over the top of it. Okay, I'm just smoothing out as many wrinkles as I can. I don't mind some wrinkles. It gives it that kind of old look, which I don't mind at all. All right, so now I'm going to turn it over and I'm just gonna get my X-Acto knife and trim around the star. I want to hold both parts of the napkin. It kind of tears it. 
Let's see if it's doing damage to the front. I'm not an expert at decoupage. I've just been doing it for a little while. So you can learn what to, not to do by what I'm doing that doesn't work out. Oh, that's working fine. So I'm going to turn it back over. Well, maybe I'll do it from this side. Let's see. You don't have to worry too much if it's not perfect because I'll show you what you can do later on when it's dry. You don't want to do it when it's wet just to make the edges nice. I got a little of the napkin off there on the corner, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. With a design like this, it's pretty forgiving. All right, well, this is kind of like watching paint dry for you. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll come back when we're ready for the next step. I thought I would show you real quick what I meant by sanding the edges. I've got this little thing started. Um, I'm gonna be doing more things to the front because for one thing, the white doesn't show up real well with the lettering. But once you get it, and I have glued this down on the sides, so I'm just gonna get it off on the back here. Once you've got it where you want it, then all you do is just take your sandpaper and just sand that edge. And it will come off. Nice clean edge. So doing the sandpaper works super duper well especially when you haven't glued it onto the, the side. And I accidentally glued some onto the back. So anyway, I'll finish that later. So I had enough left over on the sides that I'm actually just putting decoupage on the sides and just like gluing that down. I don't have it all the way around, but um, if you do want that clean edge, you can just take some sandpaper and just go along the edge and get off the extra. But I am just going to, you can probably see I put a, a layer of Mod Podge over the top just to give that a little bit more strength, I guess, before I do anything else to it. That one kind of bent up. Let's get it down. Okay, this also just makes sure that I got everything around the edge really well so it doesn't try to pull up on the edges. A little bit more here. Okay. All right. I'm going to let that dry and come back for the next part. Well, I thought I was videoing putting the trim around here, but it turned out I was on photo. So what I did, I had some decorative cording and I just put that around the outside. I felt like it just needed a little something. All right. So now I've got Star of Wonder, Star of Night. And uh, that I made on my Cricut, and I am going to, I'm going to put this end has the, the kind of unfinished look from the cording, so I'm going to make that the top because I'll put a bow up here. So I have no idea if I've got this. I've had trouble lately. I don't know if it's that I just have much less strength in my hands, but I have had trouble getting my. Cricut designs to come off where they're supposed to come off of. And this one's doing the same thing. It's sticking. So I just kind of do it gradually and keep pulling the edges off. But this one's really bad. If you are a Cricut person and you have figured out how to have this not do this as much, let me know. I thought for a while it was because I was using non-Cricut materials sometimes, but even the Cricut stuff is 
just, I don't know. I know I don't have as much strength in my hands as I used to. So even when I'm doing this really, really hard, it's probably not as hard as I used to be able to. That one worked. I work up a sweat. Usually brings on a hot flash when I'm trying to do this. Ah, one little piece doesn't want to come off. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to put this right in the center. And we'll see. I hope that this doesn't pull my napkin off. It shouldn't because I put a layer of Mod Podge on over the top. But stranger things have happened when I'm crafting. And this is not going to sit really well because there's a, a little wrinkle here. So I will have to do some maneuvering there. Let's see if that's working yet. Ooh, looky. Ooh, maybe I'm, I'm in luck. Don't go too fast, though. You start getting cocky, and there we go. See, there's one piece not coming off. There we go. And then I can use this again. So I'm going to put it right back there. I'm just going to make sure that that's all down really nice. And I will put a little layer of Mod Podge right over the top of that just so that doesn't peel off. Uh, most of my big paint brushes or bigger paint brushes are over from when they were washed. I'll just use this little one. Just put a real light layer over it. It's going to dry clear. You won't even be able to tell. And then I won't have to worry about it. Like if I grab it or something, or if it's in the, the box during the year when we're not using decorations, I won't have to worry about those letters coming off. I was actually going to use this snowflake napkin, but it was, you, when you unfolded it, it had very little of this on it, so it wasn't big enough to do on this, and I didn't want to try to match everything up and have a line down the middle, so I decided to just go with this. Oh, see, now there's a spot where that wording is not wanting to stick. Let me push that down a little bit. I'm going to push down here where that wrinkle is. So it's kind of adhered all around it. Oh, the dog is getting closer with his wines. He's wandering by me just in case I wasn't noticing. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. Let's see. I didn't bring anything to put this on. Let me just grab a paper towel put this over here for now. Okay, now I'm going to make a bow. I've got a bunch of Christmas ribbons over here, the narrower ones, because this is a pretty small piece. And I'm just going to make a messy bow. So I'm going to figure out, I want it to be maybe that big. So I'm going to cut that, and then I'm going to do two pieces of each type of ribbon. You could see the wall behind me over to my left over here. I have so much ribbon, but I still, it seems like I, I don't ever have exactly what I really want for a project. But for this one, I think, I think I've got what I want. I'm trying to decide if I want, I, you know, I think I do. I think I want a little bit instead of just all all reds. I'm going to get this one. Then I think I'm going to get some of my um, black and white buffalo check and that'll kind of tie in with the letters and break up the huge amount of red that I have. So instead of this other red ribbon, 
I'm going to grab that. I'll be right back. Okay. My chair is, I have my, my craft room is on carpet, but I have one of those, um, like mats that you put under your office chair under it so I can wheel it around a little bit more, but it, it kind of, it's not wide enough and it falls off of it a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's back over there now. I'm going to have to stop in a minute and take care of the dog. All right. I think I'll put my Buffalo check first and then my red Buffalo check. I don't know if it's still called Buffalo check if it's just red. And then I'm going to put my little snowman design, break up the color a little bit. And last I will put my little polka dots. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of Baker's twine and put that under there. And just tie a really tight knot, maybe, <laughs> trying to hold it. And my hands are not super coordinated half the time. All right, get that really tight and knot it again. Okay, then I will tear, tear off, no, cut off the extra string. And then you just kind of work the the ribbon until it looks the way you want it to. So I'm just going to stretch them all out so that they're not on top of each other. Move this out of the way. Some people make this look so easy. I, I do not find these things to be easy. I'm not a good bow maker, I don't know. I I uh, make it work okay, but it's not, not like it's something that I feel is a talent of mine. Okay, now I gotta get these out just a little bit. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there in the whoop, right there in the middle because I can never get it tied tight enough to where it really holds it down. Judy me, stop. My goodness. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit more of the polka dot. Probably don't need to do this because I have a feeling I'll put a bell or something. And I'm just going to put that around it kind of finish it off a little bit. And glue that on the back. A little bit too long, so I'm going to cut some of that off. Oh, and I set it right <laughs> right in some glue. Ah. All right, so that's gonna go there. I think I'm also, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, if I remember what I did with them. I do not remember what I did with them. So before I put this on, I'm going to make some little bells up here and then I will be right back. Okay, got my dogs fed while I stopped so we shouldn't have any more whining. I made a little doodad with some rusty wire and some rusty bells and I'm going to glue that to the tip first. Move those bells around till they're I may end up gluing them down just yeah I think I will because they they kind of tend to go upside down and stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna put another big glob of glue there and put my bow on top. That will also help keep the rusty wire on there. And then I will move the bells <coughs> to the place I think I want them the most. Glue them down. 
Oh, I just did my nails and look at that. I got hot glue on them. Sometimes the polish stays on and sometimes it comes off with the glue. Looks like this one's staying on good because I really like this set. It's my Thanksgiving set. Ugh. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> ah, got something, something tickle in my throat. Oh, I think I need, need a third bell. What'd I do with them? Here they are. Let me grab another bell and another piece of wire. And I think, oh, this is this wire that I already started? Nope. Must be. I can't find the end. Maybe it was the other one. No, nope, definitely it was this one. That one has a different texture. It's, I just got these. I can't remember where I ordered them from. But um, I love the rusty look. All right, we're going to do it with this because I'm going to end up poking myself. Love the rusty look. Love the vintage look. And I will probably go and after this is dry, I will probably put some antique wax on here and just give it a little bit more of a vintage look over the entire thing. <laughs> oh, there. I was going to say, can't find the end. I just did it. Okay. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. And well, no, I was going to do something, but I don't think that's going to work. So let me just, I've got rust all over my hands now. Twist it around a little bit. I think I'll just twist this all the way up. Ouch. Yowza. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the tip here and just put that up under that bow. Oh, yeah, easier said than done because it's definitely glued on there now. There we go. All right, I think it needs a little wire curled. So I'm going to cut a piece of wire. Probably don't need it that big. And then I'm just gonna grab a, what something do I want? Too wide. I'm just gonna grab something and curl this around it. Stretch it out a little bit. Let's see, do I want it there? Do I want it under this bell? No, nope, I think I want it up here. Hold it for a few seconds. All right, there it is. What do you think? Not bad for a little Dollar Tree surface, right? All right, thanks for joining me today, and I will talk to you later. Merry Christmas, even though it's early.